I started sewing when I was nine or ten. Um, my mom is a sewer, so she would have shown me how to do it. And um, I've sewn since then, I've sewn all sorts of things, clothing, pillows, baby blankets. Um, but the first picture I would say that I have sewn uh, that looks anything like the books that I've been working on is the first picture for that book. Um, Aunt, for Anne's colors, and it's um, behind me. The kernel of this book came a few years ago when I, uh, as a designer for Tundra, I um, had the dream project of designing Anne of Green Gables and the whole Anne series, and the Emily series as well, in hardcover and paperback. So we did um, Ellie McKay's illustrations for the paperback, but the hardcovers, I had a few ideas, and one of them was that the covers would look like um, fabric and embroidery embellished kind of covers. And Tara Walker, the publisher at Tundra Books, liked that idea, but she felt they skewed too young for um, for the readers of the novels. So I sort of tucked away that idea and then went back to her with the idea of an Anne Alphabet book, which she loved and said to put together a proposal. But before I had a chance to do that, she said that they had developed a whole program around Anne and would I like to create the board books? And I said, yes, please. <laughs> So my mom read Anne of Green Gables to me when I was nine or ten, and I would have been able to read it myself at that time, but I love that she was reading me one of her favorite books. Um, and I do remember that this was the edition that we read because I remember the cover. Um, and I do remember from that reading, um, the things that stuck with me about Anne was her energy, the importance of her imagination. Um, and her love of nature and the outdoors. I could relate to all of that as well. Anne had a lot of freckles, as did I at that age. <laughs> I would love if people who read my books decided that they wanted to go away and make something. I would challenge any adult to go into a craft shop and stand in front of the embroidery floss and not want to make something. 